Hey, what's up, guys? And did some research, and apparently, OTT Hacks has been released two days ago, which is Sunday. So it supports 11.0.033. So let's get started. I haven't done it yet, so bear with me on this. So let's download the Hacks payloads. Alright, we're going to open it and we're going to want to extract it. Um, this should work for Apple, for I mean for Mac and PC. I mean I'm not sure how to do it on Mac, so you're going to have to do some research on that. Now, we're going to want to come to Smealem, I'll leave the links in the description. And we're gonna want to download the homebrew starter kit. So once you download it, um, extract it, and that's pretty much it. Well, you know what? I'm gonna do it because I'm not even sure if I have it. Okay, and we're gonna be using power saves, guys. This power saves is a must. So, if you don't know where Power Saves is, just look it up on, on eBay, GameStop, anything like that. Just type in Power Saves 3DS and it should come out. It's a shading device, pretty much. And, okay, I downloaded my thing. So, now I'm going to remove my SD card from my computer. And I'm going to open up my, I mean, I removed my SD card from the 3DS and put it into your computer. And here we have the SD card file. Okay, now I'm going to go to my downloads, and I'm going to go to my starter. So here it is, and I'm going to drag them, and I'm going to replace, I'm just updating the files. So just make sure you drag in the starter kit to your... SD card for your 3DS. So it should take about a minute or so, depending on how fast your computer is. Okay, so my files have been have been updated and whatnot. Okay, so we're done with this part. Now I should should I close it? I'm trying to remember. Okay, now we're going to go back to our computer. We're going to go to downloads. Yeah, do not remove do not remove your SD card, guys. Not yet. Now we're going to go to our O2T hacks payloads. And for me, I'm going to want to click Save images, power saves. Well, for all of us, click on the power saves. Me, I'm personally gonna go with car card IDS C2F. If this does not work, you're gonna wanna use this folder up here and select whatever region your 3DS is from. So mine's is the USA region and this is important guys so N3DS it's your consider your new 3DS post 5 is consider your old 3DS so for old 3DS you're going to want to use this file right here post 5 U25600 that's for USA as you can see and for the new 3DS you're going to want to use N3DS U25600. 
but make sure you use your specific region. Now I'm going to want to go to my local C disk. Before we do that, I got to insert Ocarina of Time to my power saves. Alright, let me open power saves. We're going to have to create a backup. So, guys, I recommend you guys create a backup of your save file if your word is going to delete it. Alright, so I'm, a, I'm not going to create a backup because I already have it for my game, but I am going to create a backup in order for me to apply the hacks. So I'm going to rename it Zelda, I think, one, two, three, four, just anything random. All right, here it is. Okay, now I'm done with that. And all right, back to my local C disk. I'm gonna go to users. I'm gonna go, well, I renamed my computer to my name. So click that. I'm gonna go to the main file or folder for power saves. And whatever you, you renamed the backup, you're gonna wanna look for it. But before we do that, we're going to want to drag in that file from the OTT hex. So here it is. I'm going to rename name it to hmm, just anything because I have a lot of files with Zelda. So I'm just going to rename it to anything random. Uh, rename it Beats 1 or whatever. And I'm going to look for Zelda Link 1, 2, 3, 4. I mean, if you don't have a lot of files from Power Saves, you won't see this much, this many files like I do. So I'm gonna look for Zelda. Crap, I have so many files here. Okay, so I found it. Zelda Link. All right. Now, what I'm gonna wanna do now? It's, I'm going to right click, I'm going to copy, and just rename this to whatever you want, it doesn't matter. Alright, and that file beats that I renamed, I'm going to copy and paste, I'm going to copy and paste it. Alright, delete the name, paste it, and we're done here. So, this is pretty much done. Now I'm going to go back to my power saves, click on it, I'm going to restore, and it's writing the data. Alright, so you can see now it came out of POST5 U25600 USA. I mean, if you're not USA or anything like that, do not think that if yours is going to come out like this, that it's wrong. I mean, it has to be with your same region and version of your 3DS, which is old or new. So we're done with this. Now I'm going to insert my SD card back to my 3DS. And before I actually want, before I actually want to continue, I'm going to Restart my 3DS just so the SD card crew pretty much load properly. I don't want errors. Alright, let me move my screen over here. Alright. Uh, so happy that they brought it back. I mean, didn't really do enough research on it. Until now, I saw someone post a link. Alright, so now you're going to see hacks on the first file. So everything's going to be wiped out. So it's pretty much a brand new game, but now it's going to be a hacks pretty much uploaded. So everything else is going to be wiped out. So I recommend you creating a backup. So when you want to play your Zelda, you could just uh, restore that file back 
um, you know, switch on and off. That's what I would do, but since I beat Zelda already, there's no need for me to play it again. I mean, in the future, I'll play it again, but not right now. So I'm just going to press A, and we're ready. And we're done. And Homebrew's working. And hopefully you guys like this tutorial. And good luck. So before I finish my tutorial, so we're going to go with the back to the downloads where I download the OTT 3D hacks. I'm not sure about this one. I mean, even though it contains the same thing as Cardit's 45FE, Cardit's um, 2, 2CFE. See, you can see same files, whatever. All right, one will corrupt your data, and the other one will work successfully. So, if you're from USA and you have an old 3DS, I recommend you use using the same steps I did. If you're from the, if you have your a 3DS from the American region, I mean, yeah, American region, and make sure you. Get your USA or whatever region that your 3DS is from. And for instance, if it corrupts your data, use this folder here and whatever region your 3DS is from. And everything should be good. So that's all there is to it, guys. So good luck. And if you need any help, let me know and I'll reply back ASAP because I'm pretty much answer my messages, I mean, comments really fast. So then again, good luck, and hopefully this tutorial was helpful.